guys, so it's already time for my February favorites video. And to be completely honest, I don't have that much stuff since February is such a short month in general. Um, but I do have a couple new items to show you guys, so that's going to be exciting. But before I get started, like I did in my last video, I just want to mention my nail polish. It's called Shower Together and it's by China Glaze, so that's what I have on my nails. And on my lips, I am wearing Bunny Buxom Gloss by Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals. I don't know. Um, but it's a really, really, really pretty corally gloss. I like it a lot. And this is probably up there in the top, like, two best smelling lip glosses I've ever used. It smells like caramely, creme brulee-ish. It just smells so good. And then in the middle of my lips, I put on this Resort Life Lip Gelée by MAC, just to add a little bit of shine. So that's what's on my lips. But before I get started, I have a couple things I want to say before I get into my February favorite. The first and most important thing is my contest it ended on Saturday, and I have picked all the winners. Two of my girlfriends came over, and we went through all the video responses. It took a long time, but it was so much fun to watch. So thank you guys so much. So the video response winner has already gotten back to me, so she knows who she is. But my comment winner, which was the biggest prize, the 15 palette, um, Mac eyeshadow palette has not gotten back to me yet so everyone go check your inbox here on YouTube because I have sent the winner a match. Twitter winner and the video response winner already know who they are. The Facebook and the comment response winners I haven't heard back from so everyone go check your inboxes for those. I'm gonna see how this goes me messaging you guys instead of making a whole display video of who entered. I kind of like making a video saying who won because I know a lot of you guys like to congratulate the winners but since I had such a bad reaction from my last contest and people being really rude I decided to not do that. I know a lot of you are probably watching our, who are new subscribers from Ingrid's channel Miss Glamorazzi here on YouTube. She is so sweet and so nice and she mentioned me in her February favorites video and I got a lot of new subscribers coming from her channel. I just wanted to say thank you for to everyone who came and subscribed from her channel. It means so much to me and I just wanted to thank Ingrid personally. She's so beautiful and so likable and she's just so relatable. It's just a very rare combination to have. I think that's why so many girls enjoy watching her. I know that's why I love her and enjoy watching her. So thank you so much Ingrid and I love you and yeah, so hi to all of my new subscribers. Okay, now on to my February favorites. I feel like that was a really long intro. Sorry about that. But on to my February favorites. I'm going to start with the newer things that I got. Okay, so the Coraz Body Butter in Guava. I had this in like a little uh, sample size that I got as a 100 point perk through Sephora. I used it all up completely. I was hesitant about buying the full size because it's pretty expensive. I think it was like $30 or something. But it's all natural and it smells amazing and... The guava scent by Carrez is awesome. I have the guava lip butter, which smells great. Um, it's just, I think it's also their best selling scent. It just smells really good. So I got the body butter. It is a little bit greasy, but if you give it like 10 minutes, it does absorb, but it just smells great and I love it. Okay, and I think I found like my holy grail, like nude nail polish. It's so gorgeous. I don't know why I have not tried this color before, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's called Jazz and it's by Essie. I'll show you the bottom. I always do that. Okay, here's the bottom. Jazz. It's just really, really pretty. And the amazing thing about this is that it lasted over a week. I actually had to take this off, and on both hands, I didn't have one single chip, which is just crazy. But, um, yeah, so I actually posted a photo of me wearing this, and it was on, like, day five or six that I had this on my nails on Twitter, so I'll insert that photo. So I had already worn that polish for, like, seven days by the time I took that picture. It's, like, the most gorgeous nude. I love it so, so, so much. Okay, okay. staying with nail polish, I also have been loving this combination. I had um, Rumpel's Wiggins on my nails a lot this month, and I've had this one on my toes for pretty much the whole month. It's still on my toes right now, and it's Do You Lie Like It by OPI. So they're both purple. This one's just a little bit lighter, and I actually took a photo of these on my Twitter as well, so I'll insert that photo um, into this video too pretty much been my nail polish favorites this month or through February. Okay, I have just been searching my area for the item I wanted to show you next. I must have just lost it. I don't know where I put it. Tiny little Laguna bronzer by NARS. I got it as a point perk or something like that from Sephora. It's very, very small. I've been loving that. I've never owned a full-size Laguna bronzer by NARS and like it's on my next like um, makeup item to purchase is the full size Laguna bronzer. It's gorgeous. Very, very fair and it's a dark bronzer but it's so pretty on my skin. And I had to include this brush in my favorites because I have been using this to apply it and it's been amazing. I like to pack a lot of the bronzer onto this brush which normally with other brushes if I do that and then I place the bronzer down I kind of get that area where it's a little bit darker and I have to really work on blending it out 
and I that's really annoying to me but with this brush this is the Smashbox number 29 it's really really dense I pack on the Laguna bronzer and literally just start buffing it into my skin I do it all over my whole entire face and down my neck and onto my chest like this and it's flawless it like works into my skin I love this brush it's so soft I love that bronzer I am buying it as soon as I get to Sephora um, but those are definitely a new favorite of mine a little sample um, Laguna bronzer for so long and never really used it so I really like it and I definitely understand what all the hype's about because it's awesome okay then on my cheeks I kind of rediscovered something that I've already been using because like I said I haven't really purchased a lot of makeup items this month it just the month kind of flew by but I've had this in my makeup collection literally for a couple of years. It's a Smashbox Blush Trio in the shade Lights Up. But on my cheeks right now, I actually added a little bit extra so you guys could actually maybe see it because the light that I record with kind of washes me out. But what I've been using is this purpley shade right here. Probably if I hold it farther back, you can tell that it's a purple shade. But I've kind of just been dipping my brush into the purple shade and putting it like on the apples of my cheeks. And I feel like it really accentuates, like kind of makes me look like I have cheekbones for once. And I just really like the purple color. So, love this. And then another favorite of this has been like my all-time favorite black eyeliner for a long time now. But I kind of have been using the Urban Decay Zero black eyeliner for a couple months now. Because one came with my Naked Palette and I got another one in, I got like an um, Urban Decay eyeliner set and one came in there full size. Now going back to my baby which is the Kat Von D Autograph Liner and the shade is called Pure Amour which is just black. It looks kind of long but I promise it's very very tiny. I've used almost the whole thing. Um, it comes with a smudger on one end, and cap goes over that, and then it comes with an actual sharpener. You can see it in there. I'm not going to open it, but yeah, it's pretty expensive. I think it's around $19, but I promise you it is the blackest black. You literally just go, and your waterline is completely black, so I've kind of gone back to using this. I need to get a new one soon because this one is getting pretty tiny, Thing which is kind of irritating to me. I have these Sigma brushes you saw probably in my behind the scenes video. They're really pretty and they're pink and the reason I got the pink ones is because I wouldn't get them confused with my MAC brushes and I just love this light pink like it's kind of a delicate light pink shade. I just thought it was really pretty and classy. I'm going to like direct you guys to the Sigma website where you can find these and stuff but it looks like they're not selling this anymore. It looks like they only sell that in the black shade now and now they have like really bright colors and stuff. Um, I'm going to come in like those jar things now. And I think the only thing left on the Sigma, Sigma website in this like icy pink shade is the travel size version of these brushes. So I'll link you down below to those. I love my Sigma brushes. I put them in my favorites video when I first actually got them, which was back in like, I think October or September or something like that. And I was so excited. And of course, I was using them all the time. And I still find that I'm using them all the time. I'm going to do a whole review video on the brushes, but I really don't think that would be that interesting of a video because there's already a lot of videos out there like that but I will say they are very very soft brushes they're an amazing value and they're really really soft and I love them so that kind of concludes my February favorites video I think I mentioned everything that I wanted to talk about so thank you guys for subscribing and watching my videos everyone has a great week it's Monday yay it's almost March March tomorrow I believe is March so um yes yeah, so thanks everyone for watching and subscribing and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.